equivalent fractions. Let us see. Suppose this is a circle and this is another circle. Two parts, equal parts. So it will be half and this will also half. Let us say half portion. So what is the fraction of shaded portion? Yes, one portion divided by total portions. Okay. Now see this. Let us divide the circle in four equal parts. Okay. Same circle is there. Four equal parts and shade two equal parts. Now. This circle is divided into four equal parts. Okay, so one part, two part, three part, four part. So what will be the fraction of shaded portions? Yes, one, two, two portions are shaded. Out of total, four portions. So fractions will be two upon four. Okay. But you can see half portion is equivalent to two upon four portion. In half of the portion, I have shaded half of the circle, and similarly, two upon four, I have shaded half of the circle. Okay, means one upon two is equal to. Two upon four. This is called equivalent fractions. Okay. Understand it with another example. Let us take a rectangle. Same size rectangle, but more. So now we have four equal rectangles. You can say these four rectangles are equal. Okay. Let us divide first rectangle. In two equal parts, two equal parts, and we are shading half of that. Half of that. So, what is the shaded portion? One upon two. Let us divide this uh, rectangle again. Two equal parts now, four equal parts. Out of four equal parts, let us say two parts. Part one, so how many total parts? Four. How many I have said? Two. Okay. Now let us again divide this. Like this. So now I have divided the same rectangle in six parts. Two parts, four parts. Now six parts. So total parts are six, and I will shade three parts. Was one part, second part, and third part. So I have shaded three part out of six parts. So what will be the fraction? Yes, three upon six. Now further divide it. Eight equal parts. Okay. Now I have divided the same rectangle in eight parts, and I will shade four parts. The fraction will be four upon eight. Okay. Now see, I have divided a rectangle in two parts and shaded part is one. So I can write one upon two 
Similarly, I have divided the same rectangle in four equal parts and I shade it two parts. So, this is 2 upon 4. Same rectangle, I have divided into six parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I have shaded three portions. So, 3 upon 6. Same rectangle in eight parts and I have shaded fourth of that. So, what will you see? Notice. Same portion, almost same portion is shaded in all the fraction, all the rectangle. Same portion is shaded in the all rectangles. Is it so? Yes. So this is half, this is half, this is half, this is half. But this is 2 upon 4, this is 3 upon 6, this is 4 upon 8. But half of the rectangle is shaded. Means these are equivalent fractions. If I will say you shade 1 upon 2 part, you will shade like this. If I will say you shade 2 upon 4, you will again shade like this, means half of the portion. If I will say shade 3 parts out of 6, you will shade like this half and so on. So, these fractions are called as equivalent fraction. This is equivalent fractions. Okay. So, the now question is how can we find more equivalent fractions of a fraction? If some fraction is given, how we can find equivalent fractions of that particular fraction? Okay, let us see the example. How to find how to find equivalent fraction of a fraction? Suppose 2 upon 6, it is given. How we will find equivalent fractions for this fraction? We have already done this portion is called as numerator. This is denominator. Okay. So by multiplying with same number, by multi multiplying numerator and denominator with same number, we can get equivalent fractions. So let us multiply by 2 and also by 2. Okay. So, 2 to the 4, 6 to the 12. Okay. So, this 2 upon 6 and this 4 upon 12 is equivalent fraction. Okay. Equivalent fraction. Can we find more equivalent fractions? Yes. Let us see again. 2 upon 6. By multiplying same numbers, let us multiply with 3. Both numerator and denominator. So, 2 3 is a 6. 6 3 is a 18. So, this is also equivalent fraction of the same. Can you find more equivalent fractions? Yes. Let us multiply numerator and denominator with 4. 2 4 is 8, 6 4 is 24. This is also your equivalent fractions. So, 2 upon 6 is equal to 4 upon 12 is equal to 6 upon 18 is equal to 8 upon 24 and by multi further multiplying we can get equivalent fraction. So all these fractions are equivalent fractions of each other. All these fractions are equivalent fractions of each other. Okay. Let us take another example. One upon two. 
okay we have to find equivalent fraction for this question is find equivalent fractions for one upon two okay so what was the rule by multiplying denominator and numerator with same number we can find equivalent fraction so let us first multiply by 2 so whatever we will multiply we will multiply to both with numerator and denominator okay so 2 1 2 2 2 zero, 4 we can find another equivalent fraction now the fraction is 2 upon 4 let us multiply 3 3 2 3 zero, 6 4 3 zero, 12 we can find another equivalent fraction for 6 upon 12 by multiplying same number let us take 4 4 6 4 zero, 24 12 4 zero, 48 in this way we can take uh, make any number of equivalent fraction so equivalent fractions for 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 6 upon 12 is equal to 24 upon 48 and so on ok we can make another way what can we do every time multiply with the different numbers ok 1 upon 2 multiply by 3 here we have changed the number but what we can do we can multiply with the half every time with new number so 3 1 3 3 2 6 again half multiply by 4 4 4 with numerator 4 with denominator so 4 1 4 4, four 2 8 so these are also equivalent fractions for this ok these are also equivalent fractions 3 upon 6 4 upon 8 so every time I have multiplied to this number only ok let us take one more example now the question is find equivalent fractions for 3 upon 4 ok let us multiply with 2 3 upon 4 is our fraction and we are multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 so 3 2 zero, 6 4 2 zero, 8 so another equivalent fraction is 6 upon 8 ok now again 3 upon 4 let us multiply denominator and numerator with same let us 3 3 3 is 9 4 3 is 12 another equivalent fraction is 9 upon 12 ok let us take another example Three upon four. Let us multiply numerator and denominator with four. Four three is twelve. Four four is sixteen. So next equivalent fraction is twelve upon sixteen. So in this way, we can find any number of equivalent fractions by simply multiplying with same number in numerator and denominator okay